What's going on guys, my name is Ashley Blake and welcome back to my channel. Last week, you may have noticed my video got deleted. That was not on me, that was on YouTube guys. They considered it way too sexually suggestive. They did not like it. That's the first time that's ever actually happened to me. So I apologize, I appealed it. We're waiting on the response for that. But today guys, merch is dropped, absolutelyblake.ca. Right now, it is live, very limited gem merch. Make sure you guys go check it out on my site. Thank you so much for supporting me and let's get right into today's video. So I asked you over on my Instagram to send me some questions and you guys know the drill. We've done this like eight times. Top three booty picks. Easily the one in Whistler's number one. The very first one I ever did on the Inuksha. I like the one where I'm in my bedroom in front of the bed here, where I was showing off my muscles. That might be number two. And then number three, probably this creepy one I never posted. I made like a weird one where I was like looking over my face. I did post it in like grade eight. So actually that would be my first one, but it was more creepy than like good. It got sent all over BBM back in the day. But if you guys want to check out any of my other booty picks, I made a timeline of when I took them and where I took them. I'll leave it at the top of the description. Plans to ever come to DC. Nope, never planned on it. I probably will one day. I do want to do a road trip through the United States to visit as many viewers as possible once I have a better car. Do you have any studies? I studied sociology in school. I only did one year, so I didn't actually complete the bachelor's degree, but for some reason, a bunch of stuff stuck with me that year that I just didn't think would stick with me. You can tell if somebody likes you based on their body language, and it taught me that. So if you're sitting beside a girl or your significant other, they're right here, their legs should be crossed left. That means they're opening up to you, but if they're crossed right, they want nothing to do with you. It's like a second language. I can pick up on all the little things, and yeah, it's probably more stressful knowing about that than anything, because to be honest, sometimes maybe you're just coming the other way. When will we be getting another underwear unboxing video? If that's something you guys want, thumbs this video up right now. I'll make it happen. I'll even go buy my own underwear and just promote the fuck out of that because why the fuck not? But odds are YouTube will delete that. What are several things you wanted to be while growing up as young Blake? When I was really young, I wanted to be a police officer. And then I wanted to be an architect, but I found out I couldn't draw. So I said, fuck that. And then I was like, maybe I'll start posting YouTube videos just for fun. And here we are today. Dante D, how are you doing? Uh, <laughs> I'm all right. Have you ever made porn? Not legitimate porn, but I have sent a video of me pleasuring myself to someone. <laughs> Ask Jordan what's the youngest he'd date. I can tell you right now, it's probably 21 or 22. Would you become friends with a fan? I am friends with plenty of fans, so hands down, yeah, let's do it. I want this channel to be an open space. I want everyone in the comments to get along. Some people are starting to fight in the comments on my Instagram photos. Those people get blocked. Would you ever eat your own load out of your lady's vagina? Honestly, if that's something that she wanted, I probably would. If she ever came up to me and she's like, you know what, I wanna try this. I'm like, I'm open to anything. Try anything once. <laughs> that's gonna bite me in the ass. I know somebody's gonna fucking comment on that, but yes, try anything once. Have you ever been pegged? No, I haven't and that's not something I would try once. <laughs> Are you ever going to write a book? Honestly, I've been writing so much stuff down lately about my life that it could actually be a book one day. My book would never be grammatically correct either. I would take exactly word for word how I wrote it out so you could hear it in my voice and it might be hard to read, but I think it could be interesting. If money were no object, what car would you get? Not a BMW. I would probably go with a Lamborghini, although I think that's a little too much. Maybe I would get an Audi. Since I can't get BMW, Audi's the next closest thing. If your channel ever deleted, what should we search to find your new channel? Blake. What's stopping you from making an OnlyFans? Self-respect. Are you more of a shooter or a dribbler? Both, depending on the situation. Have you ever tried to suck your own pee pee? You'd be lying if you said you didn't. I can't reach. <laughs> Would you ever do a meet and greet in Ottawa when things settled down? I didn't know people watched me in Ottawa. Hannah actually has friends in Ottawa and she goes there to visit. So maybe next time I will go with her. What kind of dog do you have? Australian Shepherd Border Collie. Oakley! Come here. He's addicted to the lights. Do you think one day there'll ever be underwear merch? Yes, merch drop three, I'm working on it. They're just super expensive and I don't want my prices to have to be super high, so I'm trying to find somewhere that's cheaper. Are you into choking? It's not something I've ever tried. I don't think I've ever been choked, but a little rough's kind of nice. Do you have ADHD? I've never been diagnosed with anything, so I'm gonna have to say no, but I've had people tell me I have it, but they were not qualified doctors. What is the biggest secret I have ever kept? It's always hard to think of what the biggest secret ever would be, but I don't know, I don't have many secrets. I guess the biggest secrets that I've ever kept is usually when I'm surprising somebody. I surprised Lloyd when I came back from Australia in Whistler and he thought I wasn't coming back for six more months and I surprised Hannah in London and she had no idea I was doing that. And I've also surprised my mom coming back to Ontario. So I'm big with social media and sharing what I do. So me not doing this is probably the biggest secret that I've ever done. I can't say that I've ever like had a huge lie unless it's like to somebody that I don't really like. Maybe I'll say I'm busy when I'm not because I just don't want to hang out. And yeah, that's probably my biggest secret. I wish I had secrets to tell you guys, but I literally share my whole life here. That was my goal when I started this channel to be the most open YouTuber on the platform. That's why I share my fucked up story times with you guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. I'm sorry that it was so short. I literally apologize. I just got so much shit going on, but I 
fucking love you guys. Go check out the merch, absolutelyblake.ca. It will not be up there for long. Go follow me on Instagram, at absolutelyblake. Leave me comments down below to respond to, and don't forget to subscribe for new videos every single Thursday. Peace.